mi gente! ¿Cómo están? Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be filling in my sketchbook again and this time I'm going to be drawing leaves. I just really wanted to draw leaves and I got very excited about that. So yeah, this video is going to be really chill if you want to make a coffee or something cozy to drink and just sit back and relax or if you want you can draw along with me. That would be awesome and just enjoy the video so let's get into it hola mi gente so i am starting another page in my sketchbook and i'm so excited i'm really happy that i have been keeping up with my sketchbook and i've been really enjoying filling it in for this page i felt like drawing plants and specifically leaves i just kind of wanted to do some studies of leaves I've been kind of leaning towards like the feel of drawing naturey things so first I drew some birds and now I'm doing some leaves and I don't know why next I kind of want to draw desserts <laughs> so maybe you'll see a little draw with me page about some desserts I think that would be really fun I think I've been wanting to draw desserts too just because I follow quite a few people on Instagram that are bakers and I love watching people bake. That's always been just such a huge comfort for me. Like, I don't know, I'm trying to think. If you guys know, like for example, Peaceful Cuisine, he's not really like specifically towards baking but he does cook a lot of food and it's just so comforting watching him like cook everything from scratch and just seeing the end result it's so like mouth-watering too and it's my favorite thing to watch when I need something comforting aside from like I don't know like Harry Potter I love watching Harry Potter when I like feel like I need something comforting but yeah I love watching people cook and bake it's so nice there's also another person I love to watch on YouTube um, like for relaxing cooking and their channel is Cooking Tree and oh my gosh it's just so delicious to watch and so relaxing all of the recipes are mouth-watering and the videos are just gorgeous so I definitely recommend if you ever are in need of something cozy to watch and you want like I don't know something to like satisfy your sweet tooth even though like you're not gonna eat the food it's just like nice to watch I highly recommend recommend these channels they're amazing and they're just so comforting going back to the nature stuff it's just been also very relaxing to draw things that are from nature and I think it's, I don't know, maybe it's just like the time of year that it's just made me want to go back and draw nature -y things. <laughs> maybe because it's winter time, but I'm really, really enjoying drawing things from nature. So I'm excited. I've been filling up my pages with that. I also wanted to talk to you guys about my trip to Seattle. I ended up going and it was so fun. If you watched my last video, I filmed a little get ready with me and I talked about how I had booked a trip to Seattle because one of my friends and I were going to go and unfortunately because of her like situation with her visa, she wasn't able to come with me and I was really bummed, so was she because we were so excited for this trip but I decided to just go for it. I had talked to one of my friends about it and I was like, I don't know if I should go, should I go, should I do it? And she was like, yes, please, you are gonna have the best time of your life. And so I booked the tickets and it was so much fun. I had literally the best time. The night before I was really nervous, you know, like those like pre-trip jitters. You're just like so anxious, making sure that you have everything ready and you're excited, but you also don't know what to expect. And especially when you are traveling alone, it's just like the anxiety of doing something by yourself, going somewhere new, is just so scary, you know? <laughs> 
but it's also a very exciting feeling so I made sure I had everything ready before the night before and I made like a list of things that I needed to bring with me and since it was just a day trip I just brought a book bag so I was traveling really light and then the next morning I woke up early took my time getting ready did my makeup and right now because it's so dark in the mornings i recently ordered a happy light and guys this happy light just it like has changed my life it's changed my mornings the way that i get ready i love turning it on in the morning when it's really dark and i just need like a little boost of energy to get going and it really does make me feel so much more awake but not just that it makes me feel happy <laughs> like it lives up to the name happy light and so the morning of my trip I turned it on and I just journaled a little bit it was really nice kind of setting my intention for the day and then after getting ready I went off to the train station and it was very bittersweet because I felt like just nostalgic leaving Vancouver and then going somewhere new but also very excited and I finally made it to the station I'd never gone to Seattle alone let alone on train and I thought I had bought tickets for the train for the Amtrak train and I actually ended up buying tickets for the bus so I was kind of bummed because I really wanted to go on the train but I think the train is actually a little bit more expensive, so it kind of worked out that it was the bus. But we ended up boarding, and the guy who was our driver, oh my god, he was so cute. He was so funny, and he was like this little old Japanese man. <laughs> and he made the trip so much fun. I felt so much comfort with him because I felt like I was in good hands, and every, like... 30 minutes or so he would check in with us make sure we were doing okay and he was so positive too I really really loved that because it was early morning and I didn't know if he was gonna be like a grumpy old bus driver but he ended up being so nice when we got to our destination he was so excited he got onto the little intercom and he was like woohoo we made it and it was so cute just the way that he like celebrated and so I was very happy like once we got into the city I was like wow we are here I did it and also on the way um, on the bus the views were beautiful it was so gorgeous you could see the mountains they were covered in snow and just the landscapes were really pretty so that was very nice to enjoy and I was very happy our bus had a bathroom so that was super convenient once i got into seattle i had made plans to get lunch with a friend and it was so fun we went to this place called something fun i actually don't <laughs> i actually don't remember what it was called um but it was a fun restaurant so <laughs> that's that's like the i guess most important detail wow that's embarrassing anyways we went to this far restaurant and it was so good it was in chinatown in seattle and it was authentic which was really nice and the soup was just oh so delicious i had been craving pho that week for some reason i had had it like every single day and so i was really excited to have it on this trip and so we met up there and we caught up we talked we laughed it was such a good time and he was so sweet he ended up driving me to target because since I didn't have a car, I was going to end up taking um, the buses, but it kind of worked out that he was able to take me to the places that I wanted to go. 
Um, oh, something I also didn't mention was that when I got to Seattle, I did want, like, I planned on taking the buses, like, around the city, and so I went to go get an Orca card at this, like, Orca station, and they had limited edition artist cards, and oh my gosh, guys, the one that I got is so beautiful. I love it so much. The artist did an amazing job. She drew, basically, like, on the card, there's a total of, I think, eight little squares and they all have different little drawings on them and they're just so beautiful the color palette is like red and blue and pink and, and it's just so pretty it's like such a pretty transit card so i was really really excited to get that and it was kind of like a little keepsake the guy was kind of questioning me why I wanted to get it since I would be in Seattle just for a little bit, but I was like, I think it'll be nice, you know, just to have a cute little keepsake of my trip. And so I ended up getting that. And then after that, we went, I went to the restaurant and then we went to Target. Target was so fun. We went to the Target by Pike Place Market and that Target I'd never been inside. It's huge. It's three stories tall. And for someone who hasn't been to Target in a long time, it was like being in heaven. Oh my god, I was super, super happy to be there. It just felt so nice because whenever I think of Target, I just think of home. <laughs> I would always go there like with my mom and my sister on the weekends or whenever we had like a day off, we would just go get a Starbucks, walk around. It's just like super basic, but it's just so comforting, okay? It's just so nice. So we walked around Target and we had a blast. We were laughing so much. He's super funny. He like would poke fun at like different t-shirt designs or like we would laugh at mannequins just randomly standing <laughs> um, in Target or... I don't know, it was helpful also to have like another set of eyes like to make sure I was getting like the right gifts for my friends. So it was really, really fun hanging out with him. And once we finished our little tour of Target, he ended up driving me to the Starbucks Roastery. Um, and this one is so much like the one in New York. I don't know if you've ever been to the one in New York City, but that one is also huge and it's just such a cool Starbucks reserve roastery. So he dropped me off there, ended up going back home and I just browsed around and I ended up getting some coffee for my boyfriend's parents um, and because they love coffee and they were also visiting and so it was just like really nice. I don't know. I feel like I did a lot of gift shopping while I was in Seattle and that made me really happy, especially because my love language is like one of the ones is is gift giving. So yeah, it was really nice to do that. Just get that like not out of the way, but just like check it off my list. I was really excited. And then afterwards, I was going to go to Trader Joe's because I really, really wanted to go. I was dying to go, but it was starting to get really dark and I just felt a little bit uncomfortable being alone somewhere dark where I was not sure where I was, you know? So I decided just to go back to where I was familiar with and I turned around, went to Pike Place Market again. Um, and I just browsed around. I looked at the different shops in there and the different food places. I ended up getting a cannoli and oh my god, guys, it was so good. I love cannolis and this one was just so delicious. So I really enjoyed that. And then I think at one point I just got really, really thirsty and I went to a Starbucks nearby, got some water. And then I was like, you know what? I still have some time to kill, so I'm gonna go back to Target. <laughs> so I went back to Target and just had a ball. I had so much fun. It was really nice this time going by myself because I was able to take my time and browse around and really see what it is that I wanted to get not just for like my friends but this time for myself so I bought a few extra things for me that I needed and that I had kind of had my eye on for a little bit and then I was like you know what I'm gonna go like to the station because my bus was gonna come soon um, this time I was going to take the Greyhound back to Vancouver instead of the Amtrak 
and I walked to the station. It was about like a 20 minute walk. It was actually really nice. I really, really enjoyed the walk. I was a little bit anxious about it because there are some sketchy parts that you need to pass and unfortunately my bus stop was in kind of one of the sketchier locations so that was very nerve-wracking but I'm I'm very happy to say that I made it safely and luckily when I got to my station there were other people waiting um, so that made me feel a lot more comfortable it was just a little bit confusing though because when you get to the Greyhound station it's just like a parking lot and it says like charter bus stop and so I wasn't 100% sure if that's where my my Greyhound bus was gonna stop but thankfully like I was able to figure out in the instructions of how to get to where I was um, or the location of my stop that it was going to be in one of those parking lots so yeah, all in all, it was a really good night. I was just super happy and then we ended up heading home. My bus was delayed just a little bit so I was able to go by to a nearby grocery store and charge my phone for a little bit there. So it all like worked out perfectly which I'm very very happy about and the bus ride home was so nice. I was like so tired so I fell asleep for a little bit and then I also watched some movies on my phone. Luckily I had Netflix downloaded on my phone so I watched um, a Wallace and Gromit movie <laughs> and it was so comforting it was super nice and then we got to the border and that was just super easy peasy and we ended up getting back home around like midnight so it was a long day very tiring but it was super fun and I'm just so happy that I ended up going to Seattle like now I just feel so inspired to travel more and a little bit less fearful of traveling because I think for some time I hadn't traveled in a while and so it just kind of like makes you feel anxious when you're traveling again and it's been a minute since you've like gone anywhere and so just being able to break that fear and or even just face it you know and do it and have such an amazing trip it really like inspired me so much I felt like it helped define kind of like my goals for 2024 and my outlook on the year so I'm very excited for this year I feel like there's a lot of positivity in this year I feel really good energy I feel confident in myself and I'm very excited for what's to come so if you guys have any pending trips that you've been thinking of taking or you're anxious about taking a trip yourself I hope that this encourages you to go out and do it like go out and take that trip and just enjoy like your time and enjoy the moment because I think a lot of times we make things out to be a little bit more scarier than they actually are <laughs> And not to say that you should be oblivious and careless and not worry about, you know, the consequences of your decisions. But also just trust that most of the time you will be okay. And if not, people are willing to help you out. That you're not alone, you know. We're all in this together. And I just feel like this trip really solidified that that belief that like we are not alone there's always going to be somebody there whether it's a friend or a stranger or somebody there to help you you're not going to be alone so yeah that's my encouragement for you if you have something coming up soon that you're nervous about doing by yourself you can definitely do it I believe in you and especially now that I was able to do that trip I know that you can definitely take a trip alone if you have been wanting to and you're gonna have a blast here I am just coloring in all of my little leaves that I have drawn on this page and I was really happy with how they turned out it was really fun and relaxing coloring them in with these brush pens I'm also really excited for a video that I have coming soon and it's 
kind of a little bit different from what I usually film, but it is a video I'm doing with a friend, so I think it's going to be really fun. I'm so excited to share it with you guys because we've been planning to film this video for a little bit and this person, she's somebody that we have slowly over the course of last year become friends and it's just been really fun getting to know her more and I feel like we're very similar in a lot of ways so yeah I'm so excited for this video I think it's gonna be such a blast and I can't wait to show you guys and speaking of videos I've been having just the best time filming and letting myself just be creative for a long time I felt like just a lot of pressure to be really perfect <laughs> with my videos and my art and like I talked in my previous videos I feel like I've been getting better at just overcoming that fear of perfectionism and not making something completely perfect and it's been such a healing journey especially because it's so liberating you know it's so liberating to be able to create without setting so much pressure up for yourself you know what I mean like I think it is very important obviously to do good work and to create something that you are proud of and to put time and effort into something that means a lot to you I think that is so important but I think it's also important just to let go and remind yourself that you're having fun and you're doing this because in the first place you love this. Like you're doing this because it genuinely just lights you up and it makes you feel alive and happy and at peace with yourself. And I think we're so used to always, you know, having ourselves be compared to others when it comes to like our craft or even our lives you know with social media and I don't know maybe even like in school you might see somebody that you feel jealous of or you admire because you want to be able to create the way that they do or live like they do or act like they do you know there's always something that somebody else has that maybe you want but I think it's also important to remember that we're all in our own journeys and of course I think it's so important to admire other people and what they bring to this world because without other people we don't really have something to like work towards you know what I mean I think we wouldn't be fully aware of our capabilities but I think it's just also important to just let go and have fun and let yourself be loose and discover what you are capable of just by having a good time and not putting so much pressure on being perfect, you know? And so I'm very excited that I'm letting myself do that this year. I'm really, really excited about that. And I feel like I've actually been more productive and more creative just because I haven't been so uptight about being perfect with my work, if that makes sense, you know? Like, because I'm not being so so pushy or so holding myself at a specific standard I'm just having fun and just creating it's making me feel even more creative and kind of like I'm letting myself rest instead of just being like I need to work all the time I'm letting myself just be and not worry so much about whether something is perfect or not but just making sure that I'm doing it because I love it and I really really have been enjoying that so this page was the first time that I ever worked with actually layering colors on top of each other so on this page was the first time I wanted to experiment with the brush pens because for my previous page I think I had just kind of like played around with the brush pens but not actually seen like what happens when you mix different colors and so here I just kind of let myself be a little crazy and layer different colors on top of one another and you can see how I did that with the stems of some of the leaves and I thought it was really cool how the colors came out so what I did here was I first colored in everything green and then later you'll see I layered a few other colors on top to get kind of like the darker 
feel of the leaves and it turned out really cool. I think it's really awesome how these pens or these brush pens are able to work so well with one another and I was wrong in my last video I talked about how this paper won't actually let you blend colors together but I think it does a really nice job of letting you layer the colors together so I was pleasantly surprised with that. I'm definitely excited to create some more drawings and art with these brush pens so we'll see what comes about from that. Something I've been thinking about filming lately is a little haul of my trip to Seattle. So we'll see if I end up doing it. I think it would be really fun just to show like everything that I got from Target and just share it with everybody. So I really feel very inspired to do that just because I love watching hauls. I think hauls are so fun. I love watching Get Ready With Me's as well. And, I don't know, those are the kind of videos I love to make, but also watch, so I'm thinking I might film that, and hopefully people will enjoy that too. So yeah, this is what I was talking about where I was layering the colors and it just looks so cool. I don't know. I really, really loved how it turned out because I was able to achieve, sorry, there's like a car alarm going off. <laughs> Hopefully that ends soon. But I was able to achieve like this like bluish green color that I wanted to go for and I love how it turned out. So I'm really, really happy. It was really fun experimenting and seeing like how the brushes would change color. I highly recommend these Tombow brush pens, they are just so good. This page was so relaxing to draw. Maybe later I might go in with a black outline. I didn't do it this time, but I might go in and line it all with black. But yeah, this is my final page. I love how it turned out. I'm super happy with it. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little voiceover. The colors are gorgeous and I am just so pleased.
Alright guys, that was all for today's video. I really hope that you liked it and if you got all cozy and warm, that is amazing. That was my end goal. And if you drew along with me, that's also amazing. If you want, you can post your drawings and tag me on Instagram. I'll have my handle somewhere on the screen and somewhere down below too. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to be drawing more and to just be filling in my sketchbook. So I can't wait to see what I'm going to draw next and I will see you guys in my next video. Adios.